In this tip, we'll see a few examples for the zip built-in function. Consider these three lists. By using the zip built-in function, we can iterate over two or more iterables simultaneously. So in this case, in the first iteration, we'll get these three values. In the second iteration, we'll get these three values and so on. So you can see in each iteration, we get one value from each of the input lists. Next, let us see a few examples with list comprehensions and generator expressions. Consider these two list of numbers. Here for each iteration, we are going to sum the values. If you want inner product, we can modify this slightly. So instead of adding these two elements, we are going to find product. And the resulting three values are summed using the sum built in function. By default, the zip function will silently stop when the shortest iterable is exhausted. So consider these two iterables. The first one has four elements, but the second one has only three elements. In the output, we'll get only three results because when this iterable is exhausted, the zip function will stop without any warning or error. If you want to raise an exception and if you have Python 3.10 version or greater, then you can set strict keyword argument to true. So now you will get value error because the two input iterables are not of the same length. Hope you enjoyed this tip.